Well hello and welcome to the first quick tip for 2011 and in it I'm going to show you the new Blackboard Learn School of Business template which for many of you will be the starting point for your e-learning unit development. So here it is here um, and I'm going to just quickly take you through some of the common features. It has a little banner at the top here which in a moment I'll show you how to edit in which you can introduce your unit its start and end dates etc. It then has a little quick start guide for students uh, which looks like this and it's really um, a resource for students to help them to navigate through where they can get help how they can submit assignments etc etc in addition there's an area for the unit outline and in a moment I'll show you how you can replace that with your own unit outline file there's a learning materials folder and really this is empty at the moment but it's somewhere that you could start to place your own uh, learning materials And there's also an assessments folder and into here you could place things like tests and assignments and anything that contributes to the overall assessment of this unit. In addition to the navigation provided by the home page, there's also a set of navigation down the left hand side which persists wherever you are within the unit you'll see this navigation and it has for instance a what's new screen. Now I think this will be really useful for students and what it shows is anything that is new or changed since their last login so for instance if you'd put up assignments and those assignments had due dates they would appear in this panel here if there are any announcements that you'd place they would appear here and that becomes a bit of a one-stop shop for students to know okay what's changed since I was last in the system there's a area specifically for announcements where you can create announcements for your students and your students can view them here as well should you wish it, um, there's an area for you to put little um, staff information about yourself, perhaps contact details, etc. That's of course entirely optional, but it's nice to know that that feature exists. And then we actually get links back into some of the other areas I described before, like the learning materials folder. So clicking on here, it would be the same as clicking on that folder on the home page. We've placed it here as well because some of those important elements like learning materials and assessments, you want your students to be able to get to those um, with a single click. As well as that there are other tools here like the My Grades and um, so that's a tool really for students but it would display for them any assessments that had happened in this unit. Alright so that's a basic tour let me now take you back and show you how to do some initial editing of this unit. The first thing you might wish to change is the text that appears here. And these little downward facing chevrons provide extra menus to do things. And the first menu item here is to edit. So if I wanted to change this text, I hit the edit button. And it pops up in what looks like a little mini word processor really. And I can now happily type into this area and when I'm happy with my changes I can hit the submit button and those will be immediately available to the students. Because I'm working in the template I'm not going to make that change, I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, the other common thing that you'll want to do is to replace this unit outline file with your own. So let me show you how to do that. Again, we use these down facing arrows. Clicking on that brings up a menu and again the first item there is edit. So what it shows initially is information about the file that's already there. We've placed just a generic one there. But of course you want to swap that out for your own unit outline. You do that by hitting this button select a different file. And then you're invited to browse my computer. And at that point you would be able to navigate through your own folders. I'm on a Mac. This screen looks subtly different than yours. But it would then simply be a matter of locating the unit outline that's that's appropriate selecting that and uploading it and so very quickly then I'll cancel out of that for now you can take this starting point and start to customize it for your own delivery and over uh, the next weeks I'll be providing more and more tutorials about common functionality like assignments and the grade center and uploading content etc so I hope that's useful to you